Hi, today we're going on a trip to King's Carriage House in Manhattan. And this is the interior. This is just when you step into the entrance. There's an upstairs and a back room. It's made to look like an English country house. Lots of antiques and china and porcelain. Whenever I've been here in the past, I got to sit downstairs, but this time we got to sit upstairs. This is what it looks like. <laughs> this is the menu. Lucky for us, we were there for the St. Patrick's Day afternoon tea. This is the rest of the interior of the upstairs dining room with a skylight. They offer smoked salmon, egg salad, and a goat cheese tartlet. Chicken burr and butter sandwiches, chicken salad, sweet treats, and of course scones with cream and marmalade. So I tried the egg salad. It didn't have much flavor. I did like the crunchy toast it was served on. The smoked salmon was good. The goat tartlet was also basic in flavor, although it offered great presentation. I was looking forward to these because the last time I tried them, they were very buttery and delicious. This time around, they didn't have a lot of butter. It, they were still good, but I would have liked some more butter on them. The presentation is beautiful. The chicken salad had an interesting texture, and um, the flavor came mostly from the bread. The salad itself didn't so much have a lot of great flavor, but I still was able to finish it. I appreciate the carefully sliced portions. It was easier to pick up and eat. The sweets were good. You can't go around with sugar. I like the tartness of the lemon, and it's not so tart as to make your face pucker. I liked it a lot. The chocolate cake had good flavor. It was a tiny bit dry. Not, it wasn't so bad, though. I didn't eat the shamrock. It was too hard for me and flavorless. The poppy cake was also good in terms of sweetness. It was a bit dry. Not terribly dry, but just enough to notice. The scones are decent. I don't consider myself to be a scone expert, but from what I understand, it's okay for them to be a little bit hard on the outside. I had mine with butter and marmalade, and they were warm enough and tasty enough to enjoy with the tea. Because it was St. Patrick's Day, we got Irish breakfast tea, which I enjoyed. They offered some entrees, and my friend got the grilled cheese and soup, and that came with a crumble, and she gave me some. It was enjoyable. I don't know what I would say about a crumble. Um, it was enjoyable, I think. My friend got a mini cup of potato leek soup and a really delicious grilled cheese. kind of wish I had gotten it. Because the grilled cheese was really delicious, it had some garlic and lots of good butter and Irish cheddar. For the most part, I think that the afternoon tea at King's Carriage House is worth the money, and you should check it out next time you're in Manhattan.